Well, in today's episode, we are going to look at the bank building I bought and kind of go through the building and show you what it looks like before we really start renovating it. I'm very excited for this endeavor and can't wait to open it as Mississippi's very first toy museum. Hey everyone, my name is Chris. I'm a full-time beauty pageant director as my career, but in my spare time, I'm a huge toy collector. I've been collecting toys now for over 40 years. You can officially call me a toyaholic. Thanks so much for checking out my YouTube channel. My channel consists mainly of two things, beauty pageants, which I love, and toys, which I love even more. My dream in life has always been to own a toy museum. So it's finally happened. I've bought a building and now I've got to move this massive collection and value it into the building. We're calling it the Toy Vault because it's an old bank building located in Crystal Springs, Mississippi that actually has two large vaults. Well, the very first thing we did renovating the building was going through all the safe deposit box, pulling them out, making sure they didn't have anything left in them, and the bank pretty much cleared everything out. It was all gone. We found one silver penny, something that looked like aquarium gravel, which turned out to be uncut diamonds that were only worth about 20 bucks, and we did find one $100 bill. Now, we've hired a demolition crew to come in and they've started renovating the bank and they've taken out most of the safe deposit boxes, they've taken out all the doors, and they had to have a welder to cut out all this steel. Uh, we're keeping the vault doors because that's just keeping the integrity of the building, keeping the history intact. I want to gut out just some of the bank teller windows. This is what it looked like when we first moved into the building. It had five bank teller windows, and I don't know if these were original from the 20s or built in the 50s, but they had granite slabs on each teller window. And I did want to keep a couple of them, even though I couldn't keep all of it because we need the space. So ended up keeping two that we'll use as our, our checkout counter where you buy tickets to get into the toy museum. But you can see they're doing a lot of work. It's going to be great when it's finished, but it's going to be a long road. It's going to take another couple months to finish renovating. Then we have to get all of our display cases in and we have to move all of our toys here and set them up. Here are all the safe deposit boxes we pulled out of the vault and I'll end up selling these probably at our tomato festival for, for about $3 a box so people can own a piece of the bank, keep a piece of the history for themselves. Now in the bank lobby we are going to build a small wall so the very first part of the store can be like a small flea market so people don't have to pay to get in they can just come in and shop and maybe make it partly a gift shop so then you pay $10 to get in to see the toys but here's the vault this is the original door that says the Crystal Springs Bank it changed to different bank companies throughout the decades but Crystal Springs Bank was the very first bank Got this lovely piece of giant concrete here. I think we're just gonna use as a, a podium to put toys on. And here's a little more money, some pennies in the corner. Don't worry, we'll sweep those up and put them in our piggy bank. But this is what the vault looks like after they've taken out all the safety deposit boxes. It used to have a door here, so we're gonna have them cut and bust through that door. And then here's part of an original tile floor we've discovered under the safe deposit boxes. We are gonna try our best to save and preserve. So we haven't pulled up all the carpet yet to see what it looks like. But when you come out of the vault doors, again, this is part of the main room of the toy museum. And this is also where we'll have some of the flea market. Then you can walk down this little hallway. It used to go to these two little cubby hole rooms where people would take their safe deposit boxes into to go through them to have some privacy so our demolition crew is tearing these out we're gonna have to leave part of this wall here for support and then we're tearing out this closet and I don't know if we're gonna paint this room or not I kind of like how it looks 70s but this might be the part of our toy museum that's dedicated to beauty pageants we're gonna have a small pageant museum in here because I do own the Miss America throne chair that I want to display now this was another back office, we'll also turn into a toy display room. I think we're going to put our video arcade games in here as well. And then it had another vault inside this room that's a smaller vault that back in the day they would keep all their paper files and filing cabinets before they had computers so they would be safe from fire or tornado. And our demolition crew is busting out a doorway in one of these walls to connect to the lobby. 
So that'll be another walkthrough room. We can display more toys. There's another little office space we'll display toys. And then we have three glass offices up here that we can also make specialty rooms. And then that just makes a circle or a square. So this is the back of the building. We have two restrooms, a ladies restroom here with the original pink tile that I'm keeping. I love that. And we'll probably paint the walls like a mint green or something to kind of keep it 50s looking. But it has these little saloon style doors that are super cute. And then, like I said, we're keeping that tile. That's just too good to tear out. And then the men's restroom, it's more of a neutral color. It's got one bad spot there on the wall we have to fix, but it's in pretty good shape. So we'll hang a lot of cool men pictures and stuff in here and just make that a really cool place to see within itself. And then you can walk down this hallway and it's just got some back rooms. We have a storage room back here. I'm gonna keep a lot of boxes and pageant decorations in. And then the rest of the hallway, we have a kitchen that we're gonna turn into a party room and an apartment room back there. So I'm incredibly thankful to God to save this building for me to make my dream of a toy museum a reality. I'm excited for our state and my hometown of Crystal Springs to have something like this for people to come visit our town to see. So thanks so much for watching. Keep following my journey because opening this toy museum is gonna be so much fun.